My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey everyone, check out this sleek 67 Chevelle we've got here. 496, big block under the hood. Got some nice polished parts. It's got a vintage air system, custom Cadillac leather interior, all sorts of good stuff, which I'd be happy to tell you all about. You can also go to volocars.com, and that's where you'll find all the specs listed, photos top to bottom, the price on this car, and a few hundred other collector cars. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe and also click the bell icon. You'll be the first to see them as they come out typically one to two videos a day. But right now, join me, let's go for a spin in this sexy Chevelle. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a California built car. I bought it in Montana, so it's a Western clean car, nice clean floors, clean braces, clean inner rockers. Uh, it does have a new trunk floor, was welded in, it's all solid, rock solid metal. The body's straight. Right before we videoed, I was looking down both sides. It's like a mirror. The reflection is just like a mirror, I, like you could dive right into it. Uh, no vinyl top, so it's all nice, sleek black. Has the cowl hood that's a steel hood. Uh, the trim front and back pretty much looks new. Tail lights, moldings, bumper, and same thing in the front. The bumper, the grill, the moldings look new. Uh, this trim here is good original. This too, the door handle, that's all good original. It's got a new bow tie mirror. It's got some really nice polished Boyd Coddington wheels, uh, bigger in the back. They're pretty wide too. Looks like they fit the widest one they could in that rear wheel well. Now underneath the car, it's got disc brakes at all four corners, uh, rebuilt front end. It's got QA1 adjustable gas shocks. Uh, the biggest, he says the biggest sway bars he could get on there. Also in back, big fat sway bar. QA1 adjustable shocks, box control arms. Uh, it's a turbo 400 automatic. It's a 12 volt rear end with a 373 gear and a nice aluminum cover. All new fuel system, the tank, the sending unit, the straps, the lines, it's all been replaced. Uh, it's got an extra capacity oil pan, high torque starter. It does have the flywheel cover. There's also, you may not even see this, uh, ghost stripes. Matter of fact, our photographer shot the whole car and didn't even know it had ghost stripes. They're blue SS stripes, and you'll only catch them in certain lighting. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, but inside the car, out of a Cadillac, I think CTS, leather front and back seats. They're real comfortable seats. They're power on both sides, not just the driver. It's got lumbar. Got the retractable seat belt built right into the seats. Inside the trunk, said all rock solid metal. Comes with a box of miscellaneous parts that go with the car. Comes with a car cover. This is painted real nice. The rubber has been replaced. It's got a new mat. You can see the glass is tinted. I did not read all this yet. This is going to keep me busy, but when I write the ad for the car, I'll tell you what I find in here. I'll go through all this paperwork. Uh, it's a fairly fresh build. Uh, it's got Dakota Digital Dash, nice steering wheel. Custom-made console. The guy I bought the car from that restored the car, he made that console out of steel. So it's real nicely done. It's got a B&M shifter uh, where the radio would be. Uh, that's also welded in and made smooth. He was going to put like a touch screen in the console, so there's plenty of room to put whatever kind of stereo you want. Uh, 496 stroker motor. When I talked about the underneath, I forgot to mention the cool exhaust system, which you'll hear in a minute. But the headers has one tube that actually goes around the frame. Uh, and then it connects to some nice big fat pipe with electric dumps. There's a switch you can hit in there and just open up the headers. It's got a crossover pipe, Flowmaster mufflers. 496 stroker motor, it's got aluminum heads, a nice tall aluminum Chevrolet valve covers, a real tall aluminum 
uh, dart intake with a big, looks like Holly Carb, looks new, uh, MSD uh, ignition system. Front of the motor has all the billet brackets, pulleys, components. It's a mini AC compressor, aluminum alternator, serpentine belt, aluminum water pump, aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. Now we just got the car and he told me the air conditioning was not completely finished. Uh, so I don't know uh, where we stand with that. It might need some finishing or maybe our shop has done that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, new door panels, armrest, got some custom billet handles. Uh, headliner looks new. Uh, I did, there's no visors, just the headliner. Got a nice oval mirror. Uh, so why don't I uh, start it up? And I'll tell you, or you'll hear what dumps sound like. It does have the stripes on the hood and the trunk. It's got a polished overflow tube for the radiator, uh, power steering, and power brakes, too. sounds like a beast uh, you have lots of fun with this car it just came in still got to go through the shop and be processed and inspected it's a beautiful car it's got a lot of great equipment check our website Volo cars to get the most current information on it and plenty of ways on there to contact us uh, we'll help with uh, whatever questions or concerns you have if you want more pictures more video just let us know uh, also, subscribe to that YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to see them first. And I uh, also want to mention we can help with the financing and shipping, too. So hope you enjoy the videos and hope you subscribe and come back for more. Thank you.